Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Leaf here. Um, I just recorded like five videos in a row, so if I do sound a little bit tired, I do apologize. But I really just wanted to sit down with you guys and kind of talk about ways that Planet Zoo can kind of make the game a little bit more fun. Um, a lot of the time when you get these kinds of things, um, when you bring up the idea of mythical creatures and stuff, a lot of people in the Planet Zoo community immediately clap back at you, and that's something that I kind of do want to address in this video. It's the fact that Planet Zoo kind of does take itself a little too seriously for something that really doesn't represent the most realistic zoo sim experience. Um, one of the things that I will be referencing is the Zoo Tycoon 2, Zoo Tycoon 1, like the whole Zoo Tycoon series, actually. Um, and how they were able to achieve some really realistic standards while even having a little bit of fun with it. And if you guys have seen my Zoo Tycoon 1 retrospective video, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. But I wanted to just sit down, you know, just jive with you guys, kind of talk about some things that I would like to see from Planet Zoo. Even stuff that isn't impacting of the gameplay too much. I'm just going to throw off the silly things right off the bat. Unicorns! Unicorns, Bigfoot, Yetis, even if we get like skunk apes, even if we get like aliens or something, I don't really know. I think that'd be a really fun thing to have. I know not everyone would agree with me. I know it would impact franchise a lot, but even just having the ability to purchase animals kind of like that, it'd be a really fun homage to, you know, the legacy that the zoo sims have really set up. And I don't know, I thought that'd be kind of cute, but... I know a lot of people don't really jive with me on that. Feel free to call Leaf an idiot in the comments down below. I know you guys love to do that all the time. But all things considered, I'm just going to start rattling off some various things that really wouldn't break the game. How about that Keeper Adam dance? Okay, you guys know that? You know, like the whole meme during the start of the Corona where like that Keeper did the little dance with the fan and then Planet Zoo turned that into like its own little cheat code? I would love to see a lot more stuff like that, okay? The J Holt Housen trick, where you like make all the guests explode at the same time, that would be a really fun thing to have as well. I just love seeing the developers take a little bit more fun into this, even the plushy thing, the Meggy B. I would love to see more stuff along the lines of that, even if we had Meggy C, where it like shrivels up the animals into the complete opposite way. That'd be a really fun thing to have, having like these malnourished looking things pop up all over your place. I would love to see more guest interactions, like even, okay, hear me out. I'm like, this is totally unorganized, but I don't really care. I'm just spitting at you guys. You guys have ever played like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? Now I know already people are gonna be angry with me for even mentioning roller coasters in a zoo video, but they had the peep maker, okay? You can make your own crowds of peeps you can make your own families hell i remember i would make my own family in that time after time i would make me and my real life friends i would have all of us go to like our parks together it would be really freaking fun and i feel like even that kind of element is something missing from planet zoo it feels like a little bit of a step down in some regards because hey listen i know people say oh this frontier isn't the same frontier from roller coaster tycoon 3's frontier but there's still frontier it's still running on relatively the same engine it's something that i would love to see be brought back because it was a really fun feature i would love to see like you know me and nick go to the zoo together virtually i thought that would be a really cute thing to have but unfortunately that system was kind of nixed after roller coaster tycoon 3 and it kind of sucks because it was a really fun feature if you guys have ever played with it let me know in the comments down below what you guys did with it but even going off of that it's kind of hard to kind of track peeps in your zoo it just feels like you're lacking that kind of interaction with them even being able to rename some peeps like i don't know name a peep uh cynthia burger face or something i don't really know and all the peeps take out their phones and then they take pictures of each other i don't know that'd be a really awesome thing to have have something like um just different naming cheat codes is something that i love to see in the game Okay, it's something that is really fun, and I feel like we kind of lacked on that. And Frontier, listen, I love you guys so much. 
you guys keep cheat codes alive. It's some of the best things to have in gaming. If you ever look at like Video Game Donkey's video on cheat codes, which I really do recommend you guys do, or even Scott the Waz, they really demonstrate just how special these things are to so many different games. And I feel like within the zoo sim, within the coaster sim community, these things are really awesome to have as well. And I feel like it's just something that is kind of necessary for games like this to have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit more fun without taking yourself too seriously. Because listen, I'm gonna go into that whole rabbit hole right now. I've recently joined Zoo Sims United. Again, I will keep you guys updated when it is okay for me to put like this Discord link down in the description down below for you guys. But I'll let you guys know when that does happen. But that's a realistic Zeus experience. When you're playing franchise mode, yeah, it's pretty fun to make as much money as you can. But a lot of the time, you can really easily start off your zoo with buying elephants outright. But that's not the case in real life. In real life, a lot of the cases, you don't start off with elephants. You're lucky to even get a cougar in some cases. That'd be a really big accomplishment to have at first. And it's just those tiny little steps. It's the trading with other zoos. First of all, I'm a little peeved that you can't even trade directly with your friends on Planet Zoo. That is a little weird and that does kind of make me feel a little bit angry, but I don't know. Of course, all things considered, I don't know, I just feel like Planet Zoo needs to take itself a little bit more fun. I know this is kind of like a little bit of a mini rant. I had no script going into this whatsoever. This is just like stuff that's been bubbling up as of late. And it's something that I would love to get your guys' opinions on. Even being able to unlock... Okay, I know, I'm kind of going all over the rails right here. Speaking of rails, uh, back in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Tycoon 3, you were able to rename a guest, and you were able to get infinite chain lift speed. You were able to get infinite speed. That'd be a really funny thing to include when it comes to like you know the boat ride you could have the boat ride go a million miles per hour through your zoo it doesn't need to be like something that you tell the community outright frontier but it'd be a really fun thing to have because i don't know a lot of people really do like that kind of stuff and it's kind of sad to see that it's not really that popular anymore with so many new games as of late but I believe that Frontier would be able to tackle this a lot better going forward. Not a lot better, but you guys know what I mean. A lot more proactively, I guess you could kind of say. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know you guys have played Zoo Tycoon 2. I know you guys have played Zoo Tycoon 3. Okay, even Zoo Tycoon 2. When you breed an endangered species baby, you get a bundle of balloons at your, the front of your park. That'd be really awesome to have in, like, franchise and challenge mode. I would love to see that. I don't know. It's just all that fun stuff. And I gotta say, the anniversary update was amazing. It was so fun to play during that time because everyone was playing with, like, the new foil balloons. Everyone was seeing Whippy Appanato to everyone. I don't know. It was just a really fun time for everyone. And just having that fun with the game is something that I feel like can really help bring Planet Zoo up a few more notch notches uh even more than it is right now but all that being said let me know your experiences down in the comments down below with games like this let me know your favorite cheat codes in planet zoo let me know your favorite ones in roller coaster tycoon zoo tycoon wildlife park whatever it is guys i just want to know what you guys are talking about and like what you guys have from personal experience about having fun in these kinds of sandbox games um, I apologize if I did upset anyone by, you know, some of my wants in here. Um, it's just, I love this game so much. I have over a thousand hours into it and I just want to see myself loving it even more. And possibly justifying those thousand hours I sunk into this game. But all things being said, thank you guys so much for watching yet another video by me. I really do appreciate all the support as of late. We're like rolling right past 5k. And it's really awesome to see so many new faces pop into the comments down below as always. But all things being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye bye now.